Welcome to the MX3 Sweat Sodium Test Training Video. The MX3 Sweat Sodium Test allows you to take your hydration strategies to the next level using your existing MX3 Lab Pro. Each sweat sodium test contains everything you need to take one complete sweat sodium measurement with your MX3 Lab Pro and the MX3 app. First, let's go through the process of collecting a sweat sample. Use the alcohol swab to clean the inner forearm. If you have applied sunscreen or other products to your skin, first thoroughly rinse skin with water, dry with a clean towel, and then clean with the alcohol swab. Allow the site to fully dry. Remove the backing tape from the sweat patch and firmly apply to the clean site. Peel off the outer white border and press down to create a tight seal. Exercise at moderate to high intensity for 30 to 60 minutes. After exercise, the patch should appear saturated with sweat. Remove the plunger from the syringe, then remove the sweat patch and place it inside the barrel of the syringe, then reinsert the plunger. Use the syringe to squeeze sweat from the patch into the sample tray. The sweat sample may also be collected into the sample tube but should be measured within 24 hours. Pour the sample into the tray before measurement. If any bubbles are present, allow the sample to settle for 30 to 60 seconds before measurement. Now let's go through the process of measuring a sweat sample using the MX3 app. Sign into the MX3 app using your email address and password. If you have not previously used the MX3 app, you can download it at mx3.app and register for an account on the sign-in page. If this is your first time using the MX3 app, you will need to set and confirm a passcode. Turn on your MX3 lab by pressing the power button. If necessary, use the scroll buttons to select app mode, then press select. You will now be prompted to select a user. Select a user by tapping on the users tab, then pressing the measure icon next to the desired user. You will now be prompted to insert a test strip. If this is the first time you're using the MX3 app, or you're using a new MX3 lab, You'll be prompted to pair with the lab. Follow the instructions to do so. Once paired, you will be returned to the Users tab. Tap on the Measure icon next to the user you would like to measure, and you will be prompted to insert a test strip. Insert a sweat test strip into the MX3 Lab Pro with the label facing upwards. You will now be prompted to take a sweat sample. Measure the sample by tapping the tip of the test strip against the sample tray until a tone sounds. Wait for the sample to finish being analysed. The app and the lab will then prompt you to eject the test strip. Eject the use strip using the eject button on the side of the MX3 lab. At least three measurements of the same sample are required to establish a sweat sodium value. Measure the same sample twice more, following the prompts in the app. After the third measurement, you may be prompted to take up to two additional measurements. Follow the prompts in the app to conduct these measurements if required. Once enough measurements have been collected, the result will be displayed in the MX3 app. On this page, you can add some additional information about the way the sample was collected. You can also record a short note if there is any additional information you would like to be associated with this measurement. Once you have finished adding this information, click View Report. This page contains a recommended electrolyte replacement strategy based off your result. Some example products can be viewed by tapping on the information icon next to each step in the recommended strategy. To generate a shareable PDF report, tap on the share icon in the top right of the screen. Some common issues you may face while using the sweat sodium test include the sweat test strips not being recognised. 
make sure that the MX3 lab is up to date using the firmware update function of the MX3 app. If you are having a hard time collecting a sweat sample with the sweat test strip, make sure that you're tapping on the downward angle and not covering the exit pore. For more guides and FAQs, visit the MX3 Diagnostics Resources page on our website. MX3 support is always available to assist. Contact us at support at mx3diagnostics.com. Thank you for watching.